Hi guys, we're frequently asked what should our starting budget be for Facebook ads? Now stick around and we'll tell, take you through a really simple formula which will help you answer this question. So what should you start in Facebook ads budget be? We're asked this question so much, we have a simple formula to answer that exact question with some sort of reliability. Now to be clear, this is a starting budget, not a minimum budget or your desired budget, but what a realistic budget should be to get you started, because you've, you've got to start somewhere. So I should also add, there's no right or wrong answer here. You can go large straight away if you want to, but generally that's not a smart approach as it can take some time to find your feet and optimize your campaigns when you're running with Facebook ads. But if you never get started, you'll never build the results that Facebook ads can really, really drive for your business. So with Facebook ads, you need to be spending enough money to give your ads a good bit of reach. Only when your ads have shown to enough people will they start generating enough data to draw logical conclusions about how effective your ads are being. Now often, if you've not run Facebook ads before, the first few months of Facebook ads spend need to be considered as a bit of a throwaway budget. As you sort of figure out what works best in your market, you'll need to test audiences and creatives and campaign types, copy and more. If you've got some skin in the game and lots of experience in Facebook ads and marketing in general, you'll see results quicker, but otherwise you may need to have a bit of a throwaway budget at first. But what should that be? Now, I'll just share my screen with you and I'll take you through how we, at Lilac James, how we work this out. Okay guys, so here it is. Um, like I said, this is a really, really simple formula. It's really, really basic, but it should help sort of give you some, um, some structure around deciding whether you want to um, pursue uh, Facebook ads and what your starting budget should be. So I've got two examples here. The first one, as you can see here, is business to business. So this is, imagine this is just a generic service-based business. And uh, the first thing you need to consider is the average customer value. And here I've got the average customer value down at £3,000. Um, now you might think, right, what's the, what's the average profit per sale? Um, you know, if they're, if they're quite high and they're already sort of meeting their monthly um, break even and revenue targets, then the profit per sale is going to be quite, um, quite good. Let's say it's 2,200 just for the purpose of this exercise. And then the following question is, what's the maximum cost in Facebook ads that you would be happy with? Not, not what you want to achieve as a cost per sale. What is the maximum you would be happy with paying to acquire that customer in that 2,200 pounds? Here I've put 500 pounds. Um, it could be more, it could be less. It's going to really, really depend on you. So that would lead the per sale profit with Facebook ads being £1,700. Following that, the next question is, how many sales every single month would you need to make in order to make your Facebook ads worthwhile, make it worth the effort of you know, learning how to do it, diving into the, uh, to the platform, running the campaign, spending that budget, etc. cetera. Um, so in this case, I've just put it as one, you know, so, um, put 500 pounds in as a maximum and you get 1700 pounds out, um, as pure profit. So, you know, you, you would actually achieve a 2000, uh, a 3000 pound sale, 2200 pound profit, profit, Take away your cost of sale on Facebook ads of 500 pounds, you're left with 1700. Um, so if you only need to make one sale a month, then you just leave then your starting budget at 500 pounds. Run with that 500 pounds, see if you can start to um, generate a return, see if you can generate sales with that 500 pounds learn some valuable lessons and see as you go. Like I said, you might need to use your first couple of months as a throwaway budget while you sort of test different creatives and see what works best, see what hooks, you know, really starting to pull people to engage with your ads. And also, you know, a big mistake a lot of people make with the Facebook ads is they go immediately for the sale, particularly with high ticket things like that when you're looking at a 3,000 pound sale. Often the sales pipeline is gonna be a lot longer than that, so, um, so yeah, lots to consider, but that, that I would suggest would be a good starting budget. Uh, the second example is a B2C product, which is, has an average customer value of £25. 
Uh, let's say it take, cost them £10 to produce that, so they're left with £15 profit after every single sale they made. Uh, maximum cost per sale, they could be happy with half, you know, £7.50. You know, if I'm left with £7.50 at the end of a sale for a product, um, and I'm potentially left with, you know, a, a scalable Facebook ads pipeline, um, then yeah, why not? Let's let's say it's let's say it's half of that. Um, and then how much to make it really worth it? Maybe a hundred sales a month, so I'm left with seven hundred and fifty pounds. Okay, well in this example, perhaps you want to be looking at starting budget of seven hundred and fifty, because then you can look to achieve your one hundred sales with a maximum cost per sale of seven pound fifty. And you can go for a month one starting budget of five of, of seven fifty. Now, like I said, it's not an exact science. You know, if you're a new startup, you might not have five or seven hundred and fifty. You might not be comfortable with spending that, um, but you are going to have to invest enough in order to give your ads the data and to give yourself the data that you need. Um, you know, I wouldn't suggest ever going live with a with an ad campaign with less than a budget of one hundred and fifty pounds. You're just not gonna. You're not going to get enough reach to draw any logical conclusions about whether your ads are working or not. Um, Facebook marketing experts, when you speak to them, they'll always tell you the budget and LinkedIn particularly, they'll always tell you the budget is too low. Google do the same. It's always the way. Um, but they are right to a degree because the more you spend, the more reach you're going to get, the more data you're going to achieve and the more effective um, the utilization of the AI is. So that's a very simple way to consider how to calculate your starting budget with Facebook ads. Naturally, once you're confident, you can achieve sales with those price points, you'll want to consider scaling your budget, see if you can continue to sustain those results. If you can, then great, you've got a profitable Facebook ads farm. But never just sit back and pump money in at this point. Ad fatigue can be a real problem, so keep a close eye on the results and keep testing different audiences, introduce remarketing, test ad creatives and copy against each other. Over time, you'll learn valuable lessons and you'll be able to increase your results. One final tip is to really understand the common objections that you're getting when potential customers engaging with your products. By understanding these common objections, you can design your ad creatives and your copy to answer these questions and provide some early trust and reassurance for your clients. Similarly, it may be more appropriate to do this in your remarketing campaigns, but I hope that helps someone out there. And until next time, see you soon.